On my back to learning CSS, let me show you a simple example for creating image cards. When you use CSS, you only have to set that up once for all of your images, and then you can simply copy paste the classes. To do that, I'll create a div container, and inside I want to add my image. We need to add a source, an alt attribute, and I also want to give it width and height directly. Typically in image galleries, this is encapsulated inside of an anchor tag. So you want to make your images or maybe even your entire div container a link. You can do that right here. I'm going to leave it out in this tutorial because we don't want to link to anything. But just as a side note, it's usually done in these image galleries. Let us get to a project folder IMG and I use my usual example images. In this case, it's the img folder slash example dot, and I believe it was a JPEG. So it's dot JPG. And we should directly see it if I haven't made a typo. And here it is. Let me size it down 300 pixels. And height, what could that be? Like 600, 500? Something in between, maybe. Well, let me stick to 500. That comes close to the original, I would say. Don't forget to add an alt text. It's always a good idea for search engines and screen readers to add that. So make that modern architecture example. Now we're good to go. Let's turn this now into an image card. We can set up classes or div container. We just call that img underscore card. I select it right here in my CSS. So dot img underscore card. Curly brackets. I want to definitely give it a border and a margin so that it's not directly on the left hand side here. Let me make that 15 and then I give it a border with the usual values. So thickness, one pixel, style, solid, color, black. And you can see a problem. We've given this border to the div container. And our width and height is given to the image. Therefore, our border is now way bigger than the image, which simply means that we have to double this information. So we've given that to the image. We also have to give it here to our class img underscore card, which is then given to the div container. So with 300, height 500. And here's a typo. Sorry about that. But don't get that mixed up. If I get rid of width and height here in our IMG tag, our image would exceed our borders. So if we refresh that, you can see it. We have the original size of the image again. So this is why we double this information. Usually, galleries also have a hover effect. So dot img underscore card, colon hover, and we'll make it a border effect. We try a different color, maybe 777. Oh, but that's not enough.
Let me use light gray and I flip the colors so I make the hover state black and the non hover state light gray. Another thing that's often added or that's sometimes added is a description, maybe even some information about the author, in this case the photographer. We can add that down here. To do that, we'll simply add another div container inside of our image card class div. So right after the IMG tag right here, we add another div and we give that a specific class for IMG underscore description. We can select that now in our CSS and obviously I have to give it some text. So now let's get to the CSS. What we want to add here is a padding and we also want to align it to center. So text minus align center. And it looks fine, but we want to have the border cover this entire text element as well because it's part of the card. And to do that, we simply have to adjust the height of our div container that has the image card class. So right now it has the same height as the image. I make that bigger 550 or maybe 560. And now it looks like a single element. As I said, good news is we can now copy all of that for the name for the next photo. Depending on how many we've got, this saves us a lot of time. So I pick the center example and I only have to change a couple of information here for source, obviously, all and the description. And as everything has the same class now, this should automatically be applied. Finally, by default, this is stacked. So the more images you add, they will just be placed at the bottom. And in many instances, you want to have that positioned in the same line. So in one line for all of these images or as many as fit into a line. And to achieve that, we'll just set the float state to left for our image card. And now this works for all images. And this would be a simple example for an image card. I hope this video was helpful, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.